The thoroughbred is a magnificent animal, bred for speed, bred to compete, the sport of kings. Taba is drawing away, and Taba with Mike Smith, they win the Bet Parks Pennsylvania Derby. It's the all new Let's Go Racing from Parks Casino and Racetrack. It's action packed and fun for the entire family. Bill Maricolo now in command. Let's Go Racing is proudly brought to you by the Pennsylvania Thoroughbred Horsemen's Association. It's fun to see them run. Welcome to Let's Go Racing on NBC Sports Philadelphia. Danny Gibson here and I'm joined by Dick Girardi. We're on our third floor studio here at Parks Racing on today's show. We crown the new champions from 2023 of our Horsemen's Awards. We're going to have all the winners from the big night. And our leading trainer here at Parks for last year and the last four years won a stakes down at Laurel. And we'll hit the Kentucky Derby Trail down in Louisiana at the fairgrounds. But the big night was the awards. It was a great uh, time. We gave out 15 awards and uh, new champions crown. Yeah, last Saturday night at celebrations right across the way here, Danny. and. Uh, a horse of the year was crowned. I did not. I did not get this one right, but I was not unhappy with the result. It's oh, pretty cool. Yeah. I voted for her, and we'll get more <laughs> to that. But coming up now is our PTHA president Bob Hutt and director of racing David Osajanek. I would like to thank everybody for being here tonight to honor the horsemen who put in 24-hour days, seven days a week, 365 days a year, to try to get the owner's horse into the winner's circle. There are a million ways to lose, but only one way to win. Tonight, not only are we celebrating the winners of various racing categories um, at parks for 2023, we're celebrating all of you. Every hot walker, groom, exercise rider, uh, jockey, agent, trainer, owner, that grind it out day in and day out um, it's a tough business, and those of you that make a living at it should be proud of yourselves. What a great 2024 we have coming up. Some of the stakes have been announced, and I think it's going to be a really competitive year. Racing is very strong here at Parks. And what's going to be cool, Danny, is Smarty Jones Day is going to be at the end of August on a Saturday, and of course PA Derby Day on Saturday in September. Can't wait for all of it. Well, before we get to our awards, we had a special guest. Our keynote speaker was Rich Perlaw from TVG. Chris Griffin has more. Thanks so much, guys. Yeah, a fantastic night overall at the Horseman's Awards. And we were joined by a very special guest, and that's Rich Perloff. Rich Perloff just recently left TVG. He was covering parks racing for years, and he joined us as our keynote speaker. So here's Rich Perloff from the Horseman's Awards. The name that I'm going to drop in here is Doug O'Neill. Now, some of you have personal experience of Doug O'Neill, I'm sure. I think I'm on, Doug O'Neill was already thinking outside the box. I'm pretty sure that I'm on solid ground when I say, he was the first of the California-based trainers to start sending a string out to parks. And you can imagine that in Southern California, they're riding claiming races down to, I don't know, 16,000, 12, five. I don't think they'd started riding 10 or eight at that point. But Doug O'Neill's looking at condition books, no doubt, and he's thinking to himself, five claimers are running for a lot of money at parks. Let's get some. So he started sending horses out here. What a great night it was at the Celebrations Ballroom. And congratulations, of course, goes out to all the men and women that uh, won trophies on the night and the horses. It was also just nice to see everybody have a fun time and a night out. So really looking forward to future Horseman's Awards. I'm headed out. I'm going over to co-host on the rail. But there's still plenty ahead on Let's Go Racing. Back to you guys. Oh, we really enjoyed having Rich be our guest. He spent every Monday, Tuesday with us here at Parks Racing. Really feels like he's part of our community. Well, let's get to some awards. We're going to start with our two-year-old female. And the finalists are Aoife's Magic, Do We Do It, and Sarani. And the winner is Aoife's Magic. Here's more with the winning connections. Aoife wanted to be here. We told her she couldn't come. But we're happy. And I'd like to thank everybody who works with her. Wilfred does a great job on her and the rest of the team that comes in all the time to take care of her. And of course, David. I voted for Aoife's Magic. I think everybody did, Danny. How could she not win? Yes. A lock. She was a definitive <laughs> winner. Well, let's get to the boys. This is our two-year-old male. The finalists are Kelly's Kids, Notice of Action, and Uncle Heavy. And the winner is Notice of Action. Uh, very excited connections. Here's more with our winner. Thank you so much. And mo most of all, thank, thanks Notice of Action. 
and our team, and, our team. <laughs> and I mean our team is really what got us here. This is, this is as humbling and exciting for a little stable like us as you could imagine. And yo, Bob, thanks for my first stage win. <laughs> Notice of action. I did not vote for, I voted for Uncle Heavy, Danny, but I was thrilled that they won because I know how much it meant to the Hawthorns. Oh, they were so excited. Really <laughs> cool. Well, we have more from our awards. It was the 28th edition of our Horseman's Awards. We're going to get to some racing. We have Monday's ninth race for you. This is from our parks picks. Uh, allowance optional claiming 50000 if they're in there. $53,000 per six and a half furlongs. Uncle Ernie makes his return from August as our favorite. Uncle Ernie's had a really cool career here, and he I was a little surprised he got bet quite like that, given he hadn't been out for a while. But when he's good, he's really good. And Bourbon Music, the outside horse, second choice for trainer Michael Moore. It is now Hollywood Jet who has shaken off the leader so far. Hollywood Jet has a one length advantage over Bourbon Music in second. The opening quarter, a sharp 22 and one. Hollywood Jet, Bourbon Music in second. Uncle Ernie on the rail in third. Cohen's now moved up to fourth. One more scoop right alongside him. Our nation on parade, those three across the track. Then it's back to Vison in seventh and eighth and last, Nico. As they make their way through the far turn, it's Bourbon Music now back up to take the lead back from Hollywood Jet. Those two have been swapping off the whole way. Bourbon Music has some momentum. Hollywood Jet not done yet. He comes right back at him. Uncle Ernie in third. Our Nation on Parade making his move on the outside. The half 45 and four. Bourbon Music, Hollywood Jet, those two in a battle on the front end. Hollywood Jet pins his ears and fights more. Bourbon Music comes back at him. Vison down the center of the track. Keep your eyes on him. He's making up some ground. Hollywood Jet, Bourbon Music can't quite get by. Those you down to the wire. Vison with a late rally. Hollywood Jet and Bourbon Music hit the wire together. Vison up for third, but a photo for that win. Hollywood Jet, <laughs> what a duel to the finish with Bourbon Music, but he is back. Uh, and I talked to the winning connections. They've been looking to get him in a race here. They ran him out of town a few times, but that's because he's in that condition where it just doesn't go a lot. Yep. Uh, but they were thrilled to get him back on Park Street. It track. was a matrix. Hollywood Jet, Bourbon Music. I don't know where our nation of parade it finished, but it mm, wasn't good. That was my pick, I think. That's it your was pick. your pick. That's my your pick. pick yeah. It was like a blanket finish. Yeah. I was proud of one more scoop. I think yeah. the track maybe wasn't to his liking. We'll, we'll say that. Are you making excuses? Of course. That's what good <laughs> owners do. <laughs> Well, we have much more on uh, our awards coming up. We're going to get to our first break. When we come back, we're going to be hot on the Kentucky Derby Trail coming up after this break. Trek Phantom leads them to a half mile from home in the Risen Star Stakes. How are you? From Brooklyn, New York, Andrew Dice Clay. Jack and Jill went up the hill, both with a buck and a quarter. Jill came down with 250. Oh! Saturday, April 27th, 8 p.m., the Excite Center at Parks Casino. On sale now at parkscasino.com. Must be 21. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. The Dice Man, live. The question a lot of people are asking themselves these days is do I buy new or do I buy pre-owned? Here's what I'll tell you. New car inventories are still low and new car prices are still high. However, with the certified pre-owned Nissan at Chapman Nissan, we have a huge selection and you can save thousands over new. Plus a seven year, 100,000 mile limited powertrain warranty, roadside assistance, one year prepaid maintenance, and so much more. And not for nothing. Can you really tell the difference? I can't. Want to get out of the cold this winter? Well, Parks Racing is just the place to keep you warm and toasty. Parks Racing gives you plenty of live horse racing action all winter long. And yes, it's fun to see them run from other racetracks as well, with plenty of simulcast action from all around the country. It's a front row seat to see the top three-year-olds prep for the Triple Crown from Gulfstream Park, Santa Anita, and more. So put on your snow boots, grab your coat, and head on over to Parks Racing. It's warm and toasty, and always, it's fun to see them run. Welcome back to Let's Go Racing. We have more awards to uh, give you out the winners. So let's go to our three-year-old female category. The finalists were Foggy Knight, Majestic Creed, Nisi Marie, and the winner, Foggy Knight. Here's more with the winning connections. I'd just really like to say thanks to Poppy Gottwald, the 94-year-old uh, proprietor of Brookledge Horse Transportation, who picked this horse out by himself. No trainers, no agents, no vets, or anything like that and came up with Foggy Night. So it just shows a good eye for a horse. 
is in a lot of different places. Thank you so much. One of the great stories of the year, Poppy Gottwalls decides to buy a horse, 20,000, gets Foggy Night, wins the Delaware Oaks, wins the Catherine Sophia. Nice purchase, Poppy. Nice pick, Poppy. Let's go to the sales. Let's go into the three-year-old male category. Finalists were Gordian Knot, 90% Maddie, and Young Squire. And the winner, Gordian Knot. Congratulations. Here's more with the winning connections. Michael's the best. He's a good rider. All thanks to Joe. He bred the horse, he did everything. Lupe, great job to everybody. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. All right, Michael. Good job. Gordian Knot, I've loved that horse since his first start. He's just a neat horse. Gives an effort every single time he runs. Yeah, and I like that he's running with a new dimension coming off the pace. Looking yep. forward to him coming back. <laughs> well, we have some national races. We are hot on the Kentucky Derby Trail. Heading to the fairgrounds for the grade two Risen Star. A mile and a $400,000. This is for three-year-olds. Sierra Leone post-time favorite Chad Brown. Yeah, second in the Remsen by a nose to a really good uh, now three-year-old named Dornock. So obviously Chad Brown. And it's interesting, you don't see him often training for the Magner Tabor group, but mm -hmm. he's got this one. And Chad has won just about everything, but he hasn't won the Derby. Track Phantom, second choice, uh, Steve Asmussen. Cool name, too. I like that. Yeah, neat horse. Uh, most recently won the Lecompte, won the Gun Runner, so he's been hot on the trail at the fairgrounds. Speaking of guys that have won everything, but not the Derby, Steve Asmussen's still looking for his first Kentucky Derby win. Oh, he certainly is. Here is the call the Risen Star with track announcer, John Dooley. And they're off in the Risen Star Stakes. And there's Cardinal with for the inside Awesome Runa. Hall of Fame is up close, and here's Trek Phantom going for an early bid as they make their way toward the first turn. It's Trek Phantom. So Trek Phantom is just faster than Cardinal. Hall of Fame with resilience and B Dancer in the gold cap and sleeves. Saving ground is Awesome Ruta. With on the outside chasing freedom and they have seven furlongs to run. And then toward the inside, saving ground is Real Men Violin as they go to the back of this sloppy track. And Sierra Leone settles in in the navy silks. Three clear from Moonlight who's next. Well, four clear from toward the inside. Honor Marie and Tizzy Indy has dropped back to trail the dozen. The first two of nine furlongs in 24.32 seconds with Joel Rosario. It's Trek Phantom who made the top. So Trek Phantom leads them to a half mile from home in the Risen Star Stakes. From right there toward the inside, Cardinal with resilience up close. And then comes in between horses, Hall of Fame, Real Men Violin, and on the far outside, B Dancer. B Dancer wide both turns. Awesome Bruda with Chasing Freedom, Sierra Leone. Moonlight, Honor Marie. The trailer remains, Tinsy Indy. Half mile for Track Phantom. 49.67 seconds as they round the far turn. It's Trek Phantom. Trek Phantom continues to hold on to this advantage as Hall of Fame starts a bit outside of resilience. Toward the inside is Cardinal Awesome Ruta. Chasing Freedom is four wide. B Dancer, Real Men, Violin toward the inside as they turn for home after three quarters in one minute 14.74 seconds. Trek Phantom charging on the outside is resilience. Hall of Fame flattens out. Chasing Freedom trying to keep a straight path and Sierra Leone charging hard on the outside. It's track phantom resilience chasing freedom in tight quarters between horses. Sierra Leone on the outside for Tyler Gaffleone. Sierra Leone. Sierra Leone getting the win. In fact, they finished just like their odds dictated. Uh, Sierra Leone was the favorite and track phantom second second choice. Yeah, track phantom, you figure he almost has to win. Danny's out there losing the lead. The fractions weren't much, but Sierra Leone came and got him. Now, I know people are really excited about Sierra Leone. He's going on to the bluegrass. It's only a 90 buy though it's gonna to have to do better here soon to be a serious derby contender but right now he's if it was today he'd probably be the favorite yeah he would a nice son of gun runner we'll look to see him take the step forward down the Kentucky Derby Trail. Well, we have more awards to give out. We're going to get to the older female category. Our finalists are Disco Ebo, Mia Tuska, and Morning Matcha. And the winner is Morning Matcha. Here's more with the winning connections. I'd just like to say Morning Matcha's had a nice break. She's coming back actually next week. And you can look for her in the PA bread races and everything else coming up this year. So thank you so much for the group. Morning Matcha closing on 900,000 in career earnings. I think this is going to be Butch Reed's second millionaire in 2024. That is one rich Pennsylvania <laughs> bread. Well, let's get to the older male category. Finalists are By Land and Sea, Nimitz Class, and Twisted Ride. And the winner is Nimitz Class. Here's more with the winning trainer, Bruce Kravitz. Well, I'd like to thank Mr. Coulter for the opportunity to train this horse. And a uh, big shout out to Rences down in South Carolina. They do a fabulous job breaking all these babies for me. And uh, can't thank Scott enough. 
like a son to me. And uh, he's the best. One of the great upsets of the year was when Nimitz class ran down Gunite in the Parks Dirt Mile on PA Derby Day. That was exciting. Well, it's now time for claiming horse of the year. This is the heart and soul of our <coughs> racetrack. Finalists are Causes Trouble, Mass Roar, and Peak of Chic, and the winner is Mass Roar. Here's more with our winners. We just want to start off by thanking everyone involved, like the trainers and the jockeys, and of course everyone standing right here. I think for being in this industry for just one year, we've made it so far, and we're so grateful for everything. Thank you. What a great year for Masroor, lost exactly one time all year long. What a good claim. We all want one like him. Well, we have a lot more coming up. When we come back after our break, we have individual awards, horse of the year, and best of the rest all on the other side. One night, one stage. Woo! Country music's hottest supergroup. The Frontmen. Featuring Richie McDonald, formerly a Lone Star. Baby, I'm amazed by Larry Stewart, lead singer of Restless Heart. Skies, Texas. Tim Rushlow, formerly of Little Texas. Friday, March 29th, the Excite Center at Parks Casino. The voices that brought you three decades of number one country hits live. On sale now at parkscasino.com. Must be 21. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Turning for Home is a nonprofit that has provided for over 4,000 former racehorses with a safe retirement. These brave uh, warriors do so much for the fans, and we want to make sure they're taken care of. It's a group effort by all the owners and the trainers, and we've helped so many horses. Responding to the need of a better system that addressed the uncertain future for the retirement of the equine population at Parks Racing, the PTHA rallied horsemen to support the program. It's awesome. I mean, these are the things that, that, that we deal with every day that put us into the game and, and make the game great. Without the horses, we have nothing. Turning for Home became the first on-track retirement program at a year-round racetrack. Aftercare, it takes all of us, and every single person is responsible for it. These horses give us everything on the track. It's up to us to give them everything off the track. If you would like to help these amazing animals find a great second career and forever home, please contact us at turningforhome.org. Let's go racing. We have another Turning for Home family photo to share with you. Here's a Korean aboard Irish Kearney. What a team they are. They look awesome together. The best part about all of this <laughs> is the joy in the faces of all the people with all these horses. Oh, she loves that horse. Thanks for sharing that, Rian. And Jockey of the Week, congratulations, Anthony Nunez. Monday, he had two pickup mounts for Lou Linder. Two wins and two really exciting finishes. I'm an Anthony fan, always have been. Very good run. Congratulations to our trainer of the week, Guadalupe Guerrero. He's been on a roll getting in the winner's circle. We'll be talking about him shortly in our PTHA trophy race. Really? Did he do well in that race, Dan? Very well. This might have been one reason why he got trainer of the week. <laughs> Let's get to best of the rest. We're going down to Laurel Park. This is the $100,000 Nelly Moore Stakes. It's long, too, a mile 16th. Charming way. Is Jamie in the race. Ness just busts the race open midway through and is going to win this one pretty convincingly. Jamie Ness, a stakes win. Of course, have been training a little bit here at Parks Runs, mostly at Laurel. Next, we're going to jump into this week's PTJ Trophy race. It was Tuesday's fifth race. Keep an eye on the number five, Wicked Lady. Yeah, she was pretty far back early, Danny, but when she started to make her move, it was a gigantic move. Ends up winning by two lengths at the wire. Did you mention Lupe Guerrero a few minutes ago? We did. He was our trainer of the week. And check out the owner, his brother, Refugio Guerrero. So it's some brotherly love right there. Apprentice a rider, Elise Ruiz. Here's more with him winning the PTHA trophy race. With the very hot apprentice jockey, Elise Ruiz, we've been talking to you a lot lately. Another nice win for uh, trainer Lupe Guerrero. Wow. First, thanks Lupe for the opportunities. He trusts me and me and support me in the everything races. So I try um, good my, my, my work, you know. And anyway, 
good chance, good horses, and win. Thank you very much. Wow, what a role Eliseo has been on riding up an aqueduct here at Parks. A young man certainly on the rise. Well, let's get to our individual awards. These are statistical categories, so they won being the leaders in 2023. Leading owner went to Over the Moon Racing Stable LLC. Our leading trainer over 21 stalls was Jamie Ness. Our leading trainer with under 21 stalls and then 150 starts or less was Howard Brown Jr. Our leading jockey, Michael Sanchez. A leading apprentice jockey, Elise Ruiz. And our winningest horse causes trouble. We're going to have more on these winners with On the Rail that will be coming up next. On the Rail, bottom of the hour. Stay tuned for that. Absolutely. We're going to go to our final break, but so much more to come up. We have two big awards left to tell you about. Trainer of the Year and Horse of the Year. Plus, we have Parks, Picks, and a big day for Ion Racing all coming up. The 2023 Horse of the Year is... This is Parks. This is how you roll. This is how it goes. This is how you pop. This is how you rock. Take a chance, do a dance, little romance. This is how you. This is how you excite. This is how you all night. 360 hit me. Now we're going all in. I can feel it calling. The crowd, the light, the night, the sights, the vibe is right. This is how you. This is Parks, Pennsylvania's number one casino experience. This is how you win. Race horses are pampered, treated with care and loved. Nothing is more important than their health and their safety. We do right by them. And they do right by us. The hardworking folks who proudly earn our living. In Pennsylvania's horse racing and breeding industries. Horse racing is a lot of fun. But it's so much more. It provides tens of thousands of jobs. 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 And billions in economic impact each year. All across the Commonwealth. Horse racing in Pennsylvania. It's a winner. The Pennsylvania Thoroughbred Horsemen's Association is the advocate for Parks Racing's horsemen and has worked hard to secure better lives for the hundreds of trainers and their families that work in the thoroughbred racing industry. Our horsemen benefit from medical coverage, trainer pension plans, and increased purses. Thanks to these horsemen, racing at Parks is the very best, providing entertainment for you and the entire family. The Pennsylvania horsemen are proud to be part of the community and introduce a new generation of fans to the sport of kings. Welcome back, everyone. Well, we have two big awards to tell you about. And the first one we're going to start with is Trainer of the Year. This is a little bit different than Leading Trainer. This was a voted category uh, on our ballot and just somebody that had a really outstanding year on and off the racetrack. And I think we had six very worthy finalists. Well, we do. And again, it wasn't about number of wins. It was about the quality of the kind of uh, races that you won. And really, whatever was in the voter's mind, they could decide. It's kind of like voting for the Eclipse Awards. Not necessarily the trainer wins the most races, but it has the best year. Yeah, and we had six really worthy finalists. Butch Reed, Kate DeMassey, Bobby Ann Hawthorne, Mike Moore, David DiTolo, and of course Jamie Ness course. because <laughs> just the sheer amount of wins and the, horses that he ran. The volume. I was really between Jamie Ness and Butch Reed myself. Uh, I won't tell you who I voted for, but let's find out who won. Well, here's the winner. Trainer Robert Reed Jr., beloved known as Butch, and what a year he had. Here's more with him. Well, thank you so much for everybody involved, and it really means a lot to me to be, because uh, I know it was voted for on a uh, with a group of my peers and a bunch of great people here, the breeders, owners, trainers, and it's all, it's not about me, it's about my owners, it's about the staff, the people that work for me, everybody's just done a great job this year, or last year, and hopefully going on to this year too. So thank you very much, and I'm very humbled by all this. Thank you so much. Yeah, I voted for Butch. Just what a phenomenal year. Over four million in earnings, another record again, and had so many stakes winners. Every time I looked around, I voted for two divisional winners. I also voted for Uncle Heavy, who didn't win, but he might win some big races in 2024, Danny. Yeah, Butch had 18 stakes winners to be exact. Congratulations to him. We have one more very big yeah, award yes, to give out. Did. Horse <laughs> of the Year. And this is a category you had to be in one of the other categories to be voted for this. Congratulations to Aoife's Magic. Here's more with her winning connections. I don't know what to say. I was definitely not expecting this, but she is an exceptional filly. And everyone who works with her says the same thing. And uh, I watched her last work, and there were, there were people at the rail with me, and one person said, who's that? And somebody else said, oh, David's working, a, working the filly. And they all watched. It means an awful lot. I mean, it's a filly that she's done everything we've asked her to do. Uh, I, I didn't expect horse of the year, but I mean, she is undefeated, and 
there's no telling how good she can be. So we're going to hopefully have a good year this year, too. And we'll see what she can do. It is magic to have a horse like this. It really is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. She's a, she's a, she's a joy to go into every day because she just waits for us to come in and give her a mince and do what we do to her. And I mean, she can get a little fiery, but she's good. She, she's really nice to be around. And I wrote about this on Let'sGoRacingParks.com this week. It was the story of the year here at Parks, Aoife's Magic. And she's going to be starting in you know, maybe a week or so up in New York and at Aqueduct in the Busher Stakes, uh, make her three-year-old debut. Can't wait. It's just a lot of fun, a <laughs> sensational evening. It was really great to MC it with Chris Griffin. Here's more with our PTHA Executive Director, Jeff Maddy, on the great night. It's a true testament to the backstretch community. 350 plus people, collaboration between the PTHA and Parks. A lot of first time winners, a lot of new nominees. Everyone was feeling the energy. The PTHA was beyond proud of each and every winner, each and every nominee. We had David DeTolo's filly and Aoife's Magic who is, took us on a ride and the ride's still going. We have Bobby Ann Hawthorne's Notice of Action. That colt has a promising future. We have Butch Reed, Uncle Heavy, who did not win an award tonight, but he's on the Derby Trail. So there's just a lot of positive things at Parks Racing, a lot of great horses, a lot of great horsemen. We're beyond proud to represent them tonight and every day. And uh, can't wait for 2024, and we'll be here same place, same time next year. All right, let's get into Parks Picks. We're going to take a look at Monday's fourth race. Yeah, I love these kind of races, Danny. This is a $10,000 claimer for horses that haven't won in, six, in a while, but they've won in their career. 57 combined wins among this group, seven furlongs. I like the one decoupage. Why do I like this horse? Five out of 13 and seven furlongs. Uh, and it's coming off a claim. Claim from Jamie Ness. A little scary sometimes, but I'm going to go with Dick. Oh, she's a racehorse. I see her every day. Well, I'm going to go with the number three, Luna T. She's a closer, and I like that at the seven furlongs distance. So hopefully we'll get the money. Time for Eye on Racing. Big day in the horse racing world. Yeah, the Rebel Stakes at Oklahoma. This is, of course, the final prep for the Arkansas Derby. Danny in the middle leg of their big run uh, to the Kentucky Derby. Timberlake is probably going to go favorite here. I would think he won the Champagne, was fourth in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile. And the other horse that's fascinating to me is Just Steel for D. Wayne. It's a couple of seconds, second in the Southwest, second in the Smarty Jones. D. Wayne, he runs him. He doesn't wait around. The surprise here is no Muth. Bob Baffert said didn't like the recent workout, so no Baffert, who's dominated this race in recent years. Just Steel is my early Kentucky Derby horse. Ooh, I like and it. big races out at Saudi. It's the $20 million Saudi Cup. Yeah, and our PA Derby winner, Saudi Crown, is in there. White Up Barrio, the Breeders' Cup Classic winner. Ushba Tesoro, National Treasure. And in the Saudi Derby, we got a jersey right in the Saudi we Derby? We do. Book him, Dano. <laughs> local connections. We're all going to be rooting for him. Trainer Derek Ryan. Let's see if we can bring that home. We do have some sad news to report. Longtime jockey agent Al Delap did pass away, and he was a beloved friend to all of us, and we're going we're gonna to miss him around these parts. I've known Al since he was the agent for Rick Wilson, and they were the dominant pair out here for years in the 80s, and uh, we we'll really miss Al. We'd see him every day here at the track, and yeah, condolences to everybody who loved him, and that's everybody here at the track. That is absolutely. Well, wraps it up for us, but there's a lot more coming up because on the rail is coming up after us, but come out and hang with us. We race Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, 12.05 post time. Stick around for On the Rail next. And they're off. Skippy Longstocking has early speed. We the people from in between horses. Taba has got the lead now. It's Taba at the center of the racetrack, but Taba is drawing away. And Taba with Mike Smith, they win the Bet Parks Pennsylvania Derby.